Let's go. Hello? Oh, wait. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. B Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Notice how I was just doing, trying to do what she did earlier. Uh, sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm gone because I have a favor to ask. Oh, shit. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Notice how she don't know which character she's voicing. Not that time. <laughs> Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you that clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside of it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good. Like burgers! I could really go for a good burger. Gee, that sounds like you when you're really hungry. <laughs> hey, we're going to McDonald's. I can really use a good burger! And going to Burger King. I can really use a good burger. You know. <laughs> Do you want a Whopper? No, I said I want a really good burger. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Burger King it is. Alright, it's a deal. Burger King is not sponsoring the stream, by the way. <laughs> okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Reported September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Cole Law Offices. No, Miss Faye. I'll be taking what's mine. No, the papers. Okay, apparently Mia's, Mia's gone to sleep. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor lawyer, liar. Why, I see it right over there. Uh, that must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, you are not configurous to my back of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Oh, my dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye.
There's a mug you don't want to chug. Red, white, blue. September 5th, 9 or 8 p.m. Banco Law Offices. Uh oh. I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. Mm. What's the smell? Blood? Goddamn ear. I hate something to get itchy. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Uh. There's nothing to examine here, really, so we better move. Into the office. It smell! Blood! Okay, question mark is sobbing. Yes. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Hey, Tiny Goose. Welcome to the stream. First time chatter. Hi. Hope you're enjoying it and everything. <laughs> Chief! <laughs> what a time to arrive. Yeah. Really, though. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, something just collapsed. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I ran back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Till finally, she was cold. Chief. Okay, so we're gonna have to examine. So shadows of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Chief. It's hard to see in here like this. But if there are any clothes here, Struck in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker, the murder weapon. Looks like a statue was actually a clock made by Larry Butts. Hmm. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of glass. <coughs> Take two! Must be pieces of the glass. Place sand line broken in the back room on the floor. Glass sheds broken <sighs> means of a glass light stand broken beyond all recognition. Okay, there's the butts clock. <laughs> Nothing else that seems to uh, like a clue here. Mm -hmm. a piece of paper. Was it found out of Mia's hand? What could it be? Word is written in blood. And a scrap of paper? Maya. Can you write this? This paper is a receipt from the department store. Dated yesterday. I see out of the court record of the department store received with the letters written in blood on the back. I think there's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police. Find out what happened. What the girl was doing here. Okay, well that's the thinker, we already know about that. It's encrusted with dry blood. We're running, this became the murder weapon. Again. Okay. So really, there's not much else we could do here. She's lying on the couch, so... Call just now. Where'd she go? Put her right there, on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Nope, she just uh, went right there. Yipes! 
Don't scare me like that. Um. Excuse me, but who are you? First item is Lawyer Waifu, now mine. <laughs> it's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe just to show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be uh, use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Okay, well, I guess we'll present it. Or was it MBJK's lawyer or wife? <laughs> I think it was MBJK's actually. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Please, just calm down. What? Why would sis write my name? What who Iron Heads look? Well, I don't know. I found out what was originally or not in the scheme. Well, there you go. He just answered it for you. Uh oh. Now I've done it. I better hurry up and call the police. I don't think there's a phone out here, so I'm gonna have to move back in the office. Right. I'd better call the police. Huh? Personally, I prefer Francisca in the later installments. That's funny. Who the screws and the receiver are missing? It feels like someone was halfway through taking it apart. I think this is yours. Police? Please! Come quick! Uh, uh, what was that? Something screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me. She's holding my phone in her hand. I think she got bigger knockers than Pamela Anderson. Finko ledger book. Everything is written in Chief's ultra neat handwriting. Small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Okay. Examine the phone again. The phone receiver is missing a few screws. I better not use it. Surprisingly, the Chief is never going to need to go machines. and attack to her. I know. But all she used this PC was for email. You pick up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Okay. So I think we move back outside because that's where she's too. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Hi! I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe. That's an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you to move one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Hiya. Wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Ah! That's our admirer here. Mean anything to you? Mm, that. That's my name. What? I think he's like a stone cold Steve Austin. What? <laughs> What? Okay, the victim drew this here in her own blood, see? With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not- Case closed. You're coming down to the Prince 8, ma'am. What? 
Uh, this isn't good. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. God damn it, Gunshu. <laughs> My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. Sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. December 6, 907 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Home. Wow. They poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um... Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm sorry, not a chance? Can you say, of course I will. Yeah, I know what I'm going to say. This is a classic case of arresting the wrong person. I'm sure it will all work out somehow. Same here. First thing first. I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Yeah, that doesn't sound like she's cheering up. Whoa. Did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? Don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Do I look like that? No, no. I never thought... It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Her? Heard what about me? I, I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How did that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Haha, <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more three more years. Only three more years? <laughs> that is, unless you want to be found guilty. Gee, what confidence you got in me. <laughs> That's what she said. Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. I don't think it was you insulting me. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I just can't sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Yes, I know what to do. Okay, so talk about Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Phoenix go. right having multiple personality Shut up, again. Shut up. There's something yes. I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this. This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Uh like people in religious training. Hey, you were about to do it again. Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Uh, spirit medium? Oh, I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Hey, watch yourself, Phoenix. I'm a spirit medium, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what you qualify as strange. Uh, could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. 
She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could it have been evidence in the case? Um, right, she said something about that. I remember! Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Uh, in her own voice? Yes! I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You've recorded it? Yeah! I forgot how to delete those things. Okay, well, we go to your cell phone then. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right! Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry! Oh, great. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask I him for it. Oh, shit, sorry. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. Now it's your turn. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Me and my multiple personalities. A Mallow Syndrome from Super, Super RPG. Yeah, that's right. That's the game. <laughs> Why is Mallow added to the court record? Okay, it's the day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be heard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the ticket clock that I need. Probably qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> so, so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then, I found her! My sister! Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Spirit mediums. So, you're an acolyte? Or, or medium in training? That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Faye family? So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I... I had no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. What? So, you're a real, honest to goodness, spirit medium. With ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We can just we can just ask her who killed her. Hmm? Oh, that gives me an idea, but I'm gonna be surprised first. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Hmm? Huh? Something to matter? <clears throat> I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? Hmm? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well... I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. I'm gonna accept it because of the fact that, well, it'll progress the story. Sure. Why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Except for Phoenix, maybe. Huh? Say, what about your parents? 
Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial is tomorrow at 10 o'clock. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this car refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. The visiting animals is almost up. I'd better hurry. Right. right. <laughs> I'll be back. 